All right then gang, so we have our nav bar set up and we've set up our router so that it's all working. If we click on one of these links, it loads in the correct component. Now I'd like to show you in this video how to programmatically redirect a user to another URL. For example, if they click on a button or if they land on a page and you want to redirect them, I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So first of all, let's go to our contact component right here. So at the minute, it's just a simple div with an H4 and a P tag. Now, I wanna show you something which is pretty cool. If we take in the props right here, we have automatically added to the props router information. And that's because this is one of the components that the router loads up. So for any component that the router does load up, so any of these things right here, the router attaches some extra information to the props object. So I'll show you that right now. So if we log this props object to the console, and we can do that because remember this is just a JavaScript function right here, then we're gonna see that extra information about the router on the props object. So console.log and then props. Okay, so save that. And let's view this in a browser and check out the console over here. So if we go to the contact page now where we did that console log, we see right here, we have this object. Now these are the props and we see we have this extra information already added to the props. We've not added these. The router's done that automatically. So we have the history right here and we have all of these different methods and properties. We have the location. So it says right here, the current path name, it says we're on the contact page, which is where we are. Uh, and we have this one right here, which is gonna be used for route parameters later on. And I'll show you those in a later video. For now, we want to redirect a user to a different page, for example, if they land on this one after two seconds. So they land here, they wait two seconds, then we're redirected somewhere, maybe to the about page or something. So to do that, what we need to do is use this history object on the props object. So if you look down here, we have this push thing right here. So the history in itself keeps track of our history. And if we push a route to that history, then it's gonna add another location to the history and essentially push us to that location. So I'm gonna show you how we can do this. Down here, instead of logging this to the console, I'm gonna set a timeout. So set timeout, uh, this is gonna wait for about two seconds. And after two seconds, it's gonna fire this function whereby we say props dot history dot push, remember? It was on that history object, then the push method right there. So right here, it says we can take an argument, which is the path. So the path is gonna be forward slash about, and it's gonna wait two seconds to do that, which is 2000 milliseconds right there. So let's save this and see if it works. We're saying after two seconds, we want to add this to the history, we want to push it to the history, which is therefore gonna take us to this page. So if we now go to the contact page, wait two seconds, then voila, we get the about page. So that is a programmatic redirect. We just say props.history.push and then where we want to go to. All right, now let's comment this out because I want to try this in a different component. I wanna try it right here in the nav bar. Let's see if it works here. So I'll say set timeout again, and it's gonna do exactly the same thing function inside which is going to say props dot history dot push and we're going to push it to the about page so it doesn't matter what page we land on this time it could be the home page it could be the contact page because the nav bar is present in every single one of them so on every single one of them it should after two seconds redirect to the about page and we need to take in the props here so let's save that and see if it works so let's go home and you can see we get an error and it says cannot read property push of undefined. So apparently props.history is undefined. Now, why is that? Well, let's log the props to the console first of all. So console.log and then the props, save that and view this in a browser. And the props is an empty object. Why is that? Because previously, we had all of those nested properties on the props added by the React router. So why are they not here now? Well, I said that the React router automatically applies those properties to the props 
on any of these routes right here. Okay, so anything that we add into this thing right here, the browser route as a route, then it's going to add those properties to the props in these components. Now, the nav bar is not in a route, so it doesn't receive those props by default, but we can add them in and we can add them in using a higher order component. Now, a higher order component is something that basically wraps another component and gives it extra powers. So in this case, we're going to apply those properties to this thing right here. So let's do this. We have to import this higher order component right here and it's called with router and it's from react router dom and then if you go to the bottom where we export this is where we apply higher order components so i can say with router and it's a function and we pass as a parameter into that function the component so it's wrapping the component this function this higher order component it's applying these properties to the props to do with the router, then it's returning the component, that supercharge component right there, okay? So that's all it's doing, it's supercharging a component. So now let's save this and see what the props look like in the browser. And now you see we have those things, history, location, and match. So this thing right here, this higher order component has supercharged this component, navbar, and applied those properties to the props, all right? So now if we get rid of this, and instead use this, then it should work. Save it, refresh, and it redirects to the about page after two seconds, awesome. So there we go, my friend. That is how we redirect to a page using history.push, then the URL, and that's how we use higher order components, in this case, with router to supercharge components. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about higher order components in the next video.